I'm testing out my remove right now, and I have the forwards and backwards list printed. All of my removes work okay, except, and this was the one I previously had an exception on, except when I tried to remove the element at the end, which was jam. And if you look, uh, the ones above it are all working uh, the way I want. I removed oats, which was, let's see, that was the first, and that worked out fine. Shifted oatmeal up, size went down to five. Removed berries, which is a middle, uh, not front, not end node. Removed berries, just fine. And it goes oatmeal, coffee, tea, jam. You see that right here, forwards and backwards. Then... My edge case, I wanted to remove jam. If you look, the backwards is just fine. The size is okay, uh, but we got a problem in the forwards direction. So, how to think about this. I'm not going to show you my code. What I want to talk about is the intuition we can get from just what's on the screen. So what I see here, the way that two string works it uses the next of each node until it hits the end and so what I can see is the second to last node its next was never set to null which means when I go forwards the next this next node that I've highlighted should be null but instead it's pointing to the last node the one I tried to remove now which is bad, so I need to set a next node to be null so that this node disappears. And if you look at the backwards, it actually works. Why does it work? Well, backwards starts with tail and then uses previous. So just looking at this, it looks like I set tail correctly to the correct node. So tail was pointing to, well, I should highlight up here, tail was pointing to jam. And when I remove jam, it starts, the backwards starts at the end, so tail was set to the second to last node, and then all the previous pointers look like they're good. Uh, but again, the forward ones, I didn't set the next of the previous node to null. So I should be able to correct this with a one, one extra line of code, and I'm going to go and do that right now, but I'm not going to show you what I'm doing. I just wanted to talk about the intuition you can get just from the output of your test code.